straight out to Jean Gasaros, legal correspondent in session. Jean, bombshells on the stand. Not only do we hear from renowned scientist Arpad Voss regarding the stench in the trunk, but Jose Baez, through the witness stand, suggests that raw hamburger meat could have made the same result, so referring specifically to the fatty acids that came from Kelly's body as it decomposed, leaving that stain at the base of the car trunk. He actually said, could it have been hamburger meat, raw hamburger meat? You better believe he did. Now, this started on direct because there were paper towels in the trunk of that car that were found through chemical analysis to have fatty acids. Uh, Dr. Vass testified that's the breakdown of human tissue. But on cross-examination, Jose Baez said, but it could be hamburger meat on those paper towels. The response from the witness, you know, it would have to be raw hamburger meat. There would have to be many, many pounds, and somebody would have to eat it with a paper bag over their head because it was anaerobic conditions without any air at all. This is what happened in court. Take a listen. You could find also these items in a hamburger. I don't know if that's true. First of all, the hamburger would have to be completely raw. You'd have to have a huge percentage of fat in it. You could also find this in chicken. Uh, I do not know if that's true or not. What was that last thing he said, Jane? What did he, what did he say? He said chicken? He, is what's it going to be? Yes. Raw hamburger meat, uh, Arby's, Chick-fil-A by the end of the week. What is he thinking? Here's what the defense is trying to show. They don't want a body in that trunk. They are trying to give credence, actually, to his results by saying, but it's all trash. It was trash in the trunk, and that's what you found through your chemical analysis. To Diane Diamond, special correspondent with Newsweek and Daily Beast. Diane, I, I just, I, to me, that is making a mockery of science to suggest to this jury. Uh, and a lot of people are saying, oh, can this jury understand science? Well, listen, let me tell you something. If a bunch of TV journalists can understand it, I think that jury is going to be able to understand it as well. And to suggest that this stain in the bottom of the drunk uh, the trunk, which clearly, according to Arpad Voss, the scientist from Oak Ridge, mm -hmm. says is from a human decomposing body. To you, suggest it's raw hamburger meat or chicken? Yeah, you, you know, it, it's that old trick that lawyers do, Nancy. You know this trick very well. Throw a lot of spaghetti against a wall and hope something sticks. I kept looking for a fair fight there today. No, actually, Diane. I didn't really I see I don't. It. I've never... <laughs> thrown spaghetti on the wall well, you to were a never jury a defense and attorney. hope it sticks. You were never a, a criminal defense attorney. Look, you know what Jose Baez is trying to do. He's trying to give some other possible reason why the trunk smelled the way it did. But look, Nancy, this is not the only person saying it. Cindy said it. George said it. Lee said it. Uh, the man at the tow yard said it. This car Simon smelled Birch. right like a dead body. And now we have a scientist saying it too. So I don't know what Baez was trying to prove, but I don't think he did himself or his client any good today.